Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. Tonight I've got a stout for you. And it's a stout from Witchwood, probably best known for their Hobgoblin. And it's a bottle of their Black Witch. Coming in at 5% ABV. It says it's a dark, mysterious, spell-binding porter. There's the artwork on that. As ever, Witchwood's artwork is superb. Some of the best you'll find on any beer bottles anywhere. Uh, yeah, so it's a 5% ABV port to this one. Um, the Black Witch has cast her spells. Start with a measure of alluringly rich dark malt and allow the bitterness to creep in. The silkily smooth porter is a force to be reckoned with. Um, it says it contains barley. And it doesn't say a lot else in the way of ingredients. Just got to press the button there. Um, yeah, so 5% porter. It's the right time of year for porter. It's absolutely freezing outside. Um, there is the, the Witchwood bottle cap with the big bottom witch on it. Let's get this porter into a glass. Let's see what we're dealing with. Not much in the way of smoke when you're opening on that one. There it goes. And that's a bit of an aggressive pour, but it stopped itself from overflowing. That was lucky. Nearly lost it. Yeah, I haven't got it all in the in the glass there, but there it is. Very dark, as you'd expect. Tanned, fluffy head on it. It's got a good, just over one finger tan head on that. Light brown head, big fluffy head on it. Really dark. And there's the slightest, might be the slightest bit of red just bleeding through the bottom of that. I'm not sure the camera can pick that up, but tiniest bit of red coming through the bottom of that. But as you'd expect from a porter, really, really dark. Lovely looking porter. Let's get an aroma on it. Yep, lots of coffee malts. Sort of bitterness of dark chocolate in there. Dark fruit as well. Some figs, maybe some cherries. It's a lovely aroma. It does smell nice. Let's get a taste. Cheers, guys. Mmm. It's really quite rich, that. Lovely, smooth, almost creamy mouthfeel to it. Um, described on the bottle as silky. That's quite a good uh, a use of words there. It's very smooth. Goes down very smooth. You get a bit of bitterness. Quite a long, bitter taste to this. But before then, it's quite... Um, that dark fruit I mentioned... You're getting a little bit of that, a little bit of almost a cherry sweetness, dark berry sweetness, very subtle, but it's there when it first hits your tongue. And then you're getting all that kind of rich coffee, dark chocolate, really nice. But yeah, I say that subtle fruity sweetness, it's kind of there and it's gone again in a flash, but it's definitely there. Yeah, dark fruit, cherries, dark berries, maybe a little bit of fig there. No real uh, sort of malty feel to it. I mean, I know it says it's going to have a dark malt to it, but there's, it's not uh, not sort of the toffee caramelly thing you expect from most, most malty beers, but a lot of chocolate, a lot of coffee on it, and it's got quite a long, bitter finish to it. Mm. It's really enjoyable. It's really hitting the spot. I've done nearly all that already. Let's get the rest of it in there. But yeah, that's not bad at all. That I'm not. Um, 
porters and stouts and things aren't my um aren't my uh, my favorite style of beer but i've got a few of them at the moment that have kind of come my way so i'll need to review them so i thought i'd start with the witchwood one because i do like witchwood beers excuse me but yes dark fruit lots of coffee lots of dark chocolate nice bit of finish to it I've got this chilled as opposed to cold. It was in the fridge early and I've, it's been out for a little while now. Um, so it's not exactly ice cold, but it's nicely chilled. And I say you don't want this one too cold because you lose the flavour. Um, so this one's nicely chilled, but there's a lot going on with it. Like I say, slight fruity taste at the beginning. Lots of chocolate malts, lots of coffee malts. Really nice, smooth mouthfeel, very, very silky like they mentioned on the bottle it has a very smooth mouthfeel to it. it runs down beautifully and quite a long finish to it you get that bitterness uh, Steve even now I haven't had a sip of it for a little while but you're still getting the silky and the, the bitter finish to it I was really struggling to get my words out this evening <laughs> but yeah lots of coffee lots of chocolate a little bit of fruit lovely bitterness to the back end of it it's a decent porter um, again, it's another good beer from Witchwood as far as I'm concerned. Scores, uh, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 for Witchwood's Black Witch Porter. 5% ABV this one. I picked this one up in Morrison's. Um, so yeah, I think every time I go in Morrison's, I, I see it in there. Um, it's one of the few uh, places that do sell this one. So if you like your porters, go out and have a go on this one because it's, it's quite good. So 7 out of 10 for Witchwood's Black Witch Porter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks, guys.